Hi, welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run PMG, MG, and DFE model in eViews. For that, uh, you need to first of all have eViews 13 because these three versions of panel ARDL are available in eViews 13. In the older versions, there is there is only eViews. In older versions, you can only do PMG models. So we'll start with one example. So I will select some of the variables like I will control and dependent variable first and then select some of the independent variables that I I need as an independent variable. I will open it as a as an equation. So when you have this equation, you will go because it's a panel data. There are five countries from 1992 to 2020. So what you will do, you will come here in the option of PMG, the ideal model. So when you press this, it will ask uh, if you want to how many lags you want to add. So I will try to start from a lower number. If you have many years, you can start with a bigger number. So secondly, if you want to add any asymmetric variable, so I can I can request for asymmetry for GDP uh, for long run and short run asymmetry. And in that option, it will ask if you need to change the coefficient name. So and if you have any any fixed regressive that you want, that they should not come in the in the that should not have lags or that should not come in the log run. So when I run this, invalid du duplicate. So because the GDP was there in the first equation. So I will come back again. First of all, we'll start with without the asymmetric effect. And I will run this model. It will again give an error because the, the problem is that when you have too many lags, it gives an error. That's why I started with uh, fewer lags. So I, the error is because when you have too many lags, it's the variables start to become collinear with each other. So I start with minimum possible lags and start to run. When you see this, I will go and open full screen. So this is the the PMG model with zero lags of independent variable. So what I can do first of all, I will start add another lag and automatic lag selection is there. So it has automatic. So this is the first of first difference that is different from the older versions where the lag order was not automatic uh, or, or you have to keep the same for all of them. So this is the PMG mean group. Now, if you want to go in options, I will show you, um, you can go and first of all, you can see for uh, the, the bound test, it has, this model has added bound test. What will it, it will show? It will show the, the bound test of ARDL for each cross section and it will give you the bound test and you have the critical value. So the the I1 critical value for 10% is 3.0. And I think uh, only cross section 1 and cross section 4 has co-integration. And, and and it means other other do not have the co-integration. So this is a new thing that is added being added in this eViews. Now we can see a few, few more things. You can go for cross section error correction results it will show you the short run result for each cross section which was already there in the previous models too and now you can see that it has uh, the error correction coefficient next thing that you can see here is that error coefficient co-integrated relation plot so if you see this it will show you uh, for for equation one how through the time the co-integration equation so it is the the long run relationship uh, in the for each uh, for each cross section. So if there is convergence, you will see the integration equation crossing around zero. That's why there was bound test showing integration in the first cross section, but it was not showing for the second. It was almost uh, big enough for the third one, but it is mostly below it. There was no integration in the fourth one, and and there was not uh, there was slightly there in the fifth one. So this is the integration plot. Next, you can see here is the, the new thing that EVS 13 provides is the PMG similarity test. First of all, it will give you a Hausman specification test uh, that the, the Hausman specification test null hypothesis estimate is statistically similar with PMG estimator. So the so mean group, the statistics are not provided. So the differences between with mean group, so you can see the for each variable, the mean group estimates and the PMG estimates and you can see that the GDP coefficient was different and LBM coefficient was different while all others are different. Then it is, it is comparing with, uh, and this is the mean group estimates, and but it has not provided the, the 
dynamic fixed effect because it, it was uh, estimate was not able to estimate the model next is the more information that you want to see you can go here and in the diagnostic you can see Hausman test and and then if you come back to estimation model so this is the tutorial for the panel ARDL model in the view 13 and I have given you an overview how to do it and how what are the new things that you will get in this tutorial thank you very much